Hey babe, and anybody else watching, and welcome back to A Life Together. Today, Psalm 72 through 77. Now, if you remember yesterday, uh, we saw a prayer for the other peoples, other nations. Uh, beyond that, we saw God's wrath, his love, Jesus's quotation of King David, and then also that importance of seeing God as our refuge. So today, we are going to be looking at uh, a psalm from King Solomon, so kind of a, a change of gears there, which is cool. I think the rest we're looking at, I believe, uh, if not the rest, then at least a lot of them are from Asaph. Don't know about that. It just says a psalm of Asaph, so I'm not sure who that is. Uh, but we'll look at that. Um, specifically, when we're looking at King Solomon's, he mentions the king. Uh, it opens up Psalm 72, "'Endow the king with your justice, O God, the royal son with your righteousness.'" I'm not sure if that's talking about Jesus or not. I yeah, not sure on that one, but really, really interesting nonetheless. Uh, beyond that, uh, we'll also look at the desire for God above all else. We'll talk about that. And then we'll see praise, thanksgiving, and reflection, again, all through chapter 77. But starting at Psalm 72. Endow the king with your justice, O God, the royal son with your righteousness. He will judge your peoples in righteousness, your afflicted ones with justice, the mountains will bring prosperity to the people, the hills, the fruit of righteousness. He will defend the afflicted among the people and save the children of the needy. He will crush the oppressor. He will endure as long as the sun, as long as the moon, through all generations. He will be like rain falling on a mown field, like showers watering the earth. In days, the righteous will flourish. Prosperity will abound till the moon is no more. He will rule from sea to sea, from the river to the ends of the earth. The desert tribes will bow before him, and his enemies will lick the dust. The kings of Tarshish and of distant shores will bring tribute to him. The kings of Sheba and Seba will present him gifts. All kings will bow down to him, and all nations will serve him. For he will deliver the needy who cry out, the afflicted who have no one to help. He will take pity on the weak and the needy, and save the needy from death. He will rescue from the oppression and violence, for precious is the blood is their blood in his sight. Long may he live. May gold from Sheba be given him. May people pr ever pray for him and bless him all day long. Let grain abound throughout the land. On the tops of the hills may it sway. Let its fruit flourish like Lebanon. Let it thrive like the grass of the field. May his name endure forever. May it continue as long as the sun. All nations will be blessed through him, and they will call him blessed. Praise be to the Lord God, the God of Israel, who alone does marvelous deeds. Praise be to his glorious name forever. May the whole earth be filled with his glory. Amen and amen. This concludes the prayers of David, son of Jesse. Psalm 73. Surely God is good to Israel, to those who are pure in heart. But as for me, my feet had almost slipped. I had nearly lost my foothold, for I envied the arrogant when I saw the prosperity of the wicked. They have no struggles. Their bodies are healthy and strong. They are free from the burdens common to man. They are not plagued by human ills. Therefore, pride is their necklace. They clothe themselves with violence. From their callous hearts comes iniquity. The evil conceits of their minds knows no limits. They scoff and speak with malice. In their arrogance, they threaten oppression. Their mouths lay claim to heaven, and their tongues take possession of the earth. Therefore, their people will turn to them and drink up waters in abundance. They say, how can God know? Does the Most High have knowledge? This is what the wicked are like. Always carefree, they increase in wealth. Surely in vain have I kept my heart pure. In vain I have washed my hands in innocence. All day long I have been plagued. I have been punished every morning. If I had said, I will speak thus, I would have betrayed your children. When I tried to understand all this, it was oppressive to me till I entered the sanctuary of God. Then I understood their final destiny. Surely you place them on slippery, on slippery ground. You cast them down to ruin. How suddenly they are destroyed, completely swept away by terrors. As a dream when one awakes, so when you arise, O Lord, you will despise them as fantasies. When my heart was grieved and my spirit embittered, I was senseless and ignorant. I was a brute beast before you, yet I am always with you. You hold me by my right hand. You guide me with your counsel, and afterward you will take me into glory. Whom have I in heaven but you? And earth has nothing I desire besides you. My flesh and my heart may fail, but God is the strength of my heart and my portion forever. 
Those who are far from you will perish. You destroy all who are unfaithful to you. But as for me, it is good to be near God. I have made the sovereign, the sovereign Lord, my refuge. I will tell of all your deeds. Psalm 74. Why have you rejected us forever, O God? Why does your anger smolder against the sheep of your pasture? Remember the people you purchased of old, the tribe of your inheritance, whom you redeemed, Mount Zion, where you dwelt. Turn your steps toward these everlasting ruins, all this destruction the enemy has brought on the sanctuary. Your foes, your, your foes roared in the place where you met with us. They set up their standards as signs. They behaved like men wielding axes to cut through a thicket of trees. They smashed all the carved paneling with their axes and hatchets. They burned your sanctuary to the ground. They defiled your dwelling place of your name. They said in their hearts, we will crush them completely. They burned every place where God was worshipped in the land. We are given no miraculous signs. No prophets are left and none of us knows how long this will be. How long will the enemy mock you, O God? Will the foe revile your name forever? Why do you hold back your hand, your right hand? Take it from the folds of your garment and destroy them. But you, O God, are my king from of old. You bring salvation upon the earth. It was you who split open the sea by your power. You broke the heads of the monster in the waters. It was you who crushed the heads of Leviathan and gave him as food to the creatures of the desert. It was you who opened up springs and streams. You dried up the ever-flowing rivers. The day is yours and yours also, the night. You established the sun and the moon. It was you who set all the boundaries of the earth. You made both summer and winter. Remember how the enemy has mocked you, O Lord. How foolish people have reviled your name. Do not hand over the life of your dove to wild beasts. Do not forgive the lives of your afflict do not forget the lives of your afflicted people forever. Have regard for your covenant, because haunts of violence fill the dark places of the land. Do not let the oppressed retreat in disgrace. May the poor and needy praise your name. Rise up, O God, and defend your cause. Remember how fools mock you all day long. Do not ignore the clamor of your adversaries, the uproar of your enemies, which rises continually. Psalm 75. We give thanks to you, O God. We give thanks for your name is near. Men tell of your wonderful deeds. You say, I choose the appointed time. It is I who judge uprightly. When the earth and all its people quake, it is I who hold its pillars firm. To the arrogant, I say, boast no more. And to the wicked, do not lift up your horns. Do not lift up your horns against heaven. Do not speak with outstretched neck. No one from the east or the west or from the desert can exalt a man, but it is God who judges. He brings one down and exalts another. In the hand of the Lord is a cup full of foaming wine mixed with spices. He pours it out and all the wicked of the earth drink it down to its very dregs. As for me, I will declare this forever. I will sing praise to the God of Jacob. I will cut off the horns of all the wicked but the horns of the righteous will be lifted up. Psalm 76. In Judah, God is known. His name is great in Israel. His tent is in Salem, his dwelling place in Zion. There he broke the flashing arrows, the shields and the swords, the weapons of war. You are resplendent with light, more majestic than mountains rich with game. Valiant men lie plundered. They, uh, they sleep their last sleep. Not one of the warriors can lift his hands. At your rebuke, O God of Jacob, both horse and chariot lie still. You alone are to be feared. Who can stand before you when you are angry? From heaven you pronounced judgment, and from the land feared and was quiet. When you, O God, rose up to judge, to save all the afflicted of the land. Surely your wrath against men brings you praise, and the survivors of your wrath are restrained. Make vows to the Lord your God and fulfill them. Let all the neighboring lands bring gifts to the one to be feared. He breaks the spirit of rulers. He is feared by the kings of the earth. Psalm 77. I cried out to God for help. I cried out to God to hear me. When I was in distress, I sought the Lord. At night, I stretched out untiring hands, and my soul refused to be comforted. I remembered you, O God, and I groaned. I mused, and my spirit grew faint. You kept my eyes from closing. I was too troubled to speak. I thought about the former days, the years of long ago. I remembered my songs in the night. My heart mused and my spirit inquired, Will the Lord reject forever? Will he never show his favor again? Has his unfailing love vanished forever? Has his promise failed for all time? Has God forgotten to be merciful? Has he, in anger, withheld his compassion? Then I thought, 
To this I will appeal, the years of the right hand of the Most High. I will remember the deeds of the Lord. Yes, I will remember your miracles of long ago. I will meditate on all your works and consider all your mighty deeds. Your ways, O oh God, are holy. What God is so great as our God? You are the God who performs miracles. You display your power among the peoples. With your mighty arm, you redeemed your people, the descendants of Jacob and Joseph. The waters saw you, O oh God. The waters saw you and writhed. The very depths were convulsed. The clouds poured down water. The skies resounded with thunder. Your arrows flashed back and forth. Your thunder was heard in the whirlwind. Your lightning lit up the world. The earth trembled and quaked. Your path led through the sea, your way through the mighty waters, though your footprints were not seen. You led your people like a flock by the hand of Moses and Aaron. That's great. I mean, the memory that is spoken of here, is this Asaph? Yes. Um, says, for the director of music, for Jedithan, of Asaph, a psalm. So looking at that, that, that song, if this is the director, so I'm thinking that this is a song here. Looking at those verses, I wrote that down, 11 through 15, uh, 11 through 15. I will remember the deeds of the Lord. Yes, I will remember your miracles of long ago. I will meditate on all your works and consider your mighty deeds. Your ways, O God, are holy. What God is so great is our God. You are the God who performs miracles. You display your power among the peoples. With your mighty arm, you redeemed your people, the descendants of Jacob and Joseph. I love that, that it's a song. So number one, this is going to be sung. And every time it's sung, it's going to be remembered. So that's awesome that it's not only in the Bible, but this was sung in eons past. So I think that's amazing. But why? Well, it's to remember what God has done for who. And that's, I think, in verse 15. With your mighty arm, you redeemed your people, the descendants of Jacob and Joseph. So God's people will remember this for generation to come as this is sung, as this is read, and we remember what God has done for those people. And so we can look forward. I mean, before this, leading into that, uh, where are we? That's verse six. I remembered my songs in the night. My heart mused and my spirit inquired, will the Lord reject forever? Will he never show his favor again? Has his unfailing love vanished forever? Has his promise failed for all time? Has God forgotten to be merciful? Has he in anger withheld his compassion? And then verse 10, then I thought to this, I will appeal. And so it's like he's forcing himself. The author here is forcing himself to remember. He's saying, hey, Soul. I mean, we talked about this before, right? Soul, remember. Don't be downcast. Why are you so downcast? Remember what God has done. And I think that's so important for us as well. I mean, yeah, maybe we don't see splitting waters today, but our God hasn't changed. This is the same God who has done all those miracles for his people. And I believe God is still active among his people today. And that's what's so, so important to remember and tell our children about sometimes tell ourselves about as well. So let's pray about that. God, we thank you that you are unchanging. Help us to recognize that you are sovereign. You are holy and good, God, but you are powerful and active. God, you have done so much for your people and you have done so much for us. Help us to recognize all that you have done so that we remember that and we can tell not just biblical stories to our children, but stories from our own lives, Lord. We thank you so much for all that you have done, for the fact that you show up time and time again, God, that you have mercy time and time again, that you are faithful time and time again. God, thank you for all that you do and all that you are. And in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Well, that is about all I have for you. As always, know that I appreciate you. Wife, appreciate you tons. And I will plan on seeing you tomorrow. Have a good one.